Done. He did a little bit yesterday, did a little bit today. We'll see how he feels tomorrow. And uh, kind of go from there. Do you have any sense of sports? Not going? yet. Not yet. You know, um, it's you know, it's honestly a little bit similar to what I thought it'd be. You know, just a lot of soreness in the first part of the week, and, and then just kind of getting loose right now. So, uh, you know, I think he's he's felt a lot better every day. So we'll see how he does. Do you have to err on the side of caution with something like this? Can it get worse if he plays? In it? Uh, potentially, yeah. So we just gotta we just gotta see how he does tomorrow and how he feels. And, um, you know, the biggest thing, if, if if he can play, he wants to play, and if he can't, then he won't. So we'll. we'll yeah, he does tomorrow. Vic is your guy. How do you feel about him? Oh, great. Now, the good thing is we've got tons of depth. I mean, we've got four good backs besides besides Daniel. So we're, you know, we have complete confidence in all those guys. Matt Rocket, what's his status? Um, same thing. He was uh, sore today, did a little bit, you know. Um, about the same. We'll kind of wait and see. So is both of them sort of questionable? Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Mm -hmm. Are you staying with Farley at left tackle? Yeah, yeah. Anderson at kicker? Yeah. yeah. No other they both, both look good this week. Both had good now. Yeah. No other line change. Both of them had good practices. Matt really kicked the ball well this week. I uh, was really pleased with the way we punted the ball, uh, particularly yesterday and today both. I thought Cole really punted the ball well. Um, so it was good to see that. Curran and uh, Duncan were fishing out the past couple of days. How do you feel about Great. I mean, those, those guys are, you know, um, both really special kids, you know, just uh, their, their work ethic, their maturity, um, you know, the, the way they handle recruiting. I mean, just a joy to recruit. They're both very good players. I mean, Jake's what you're looking for is an offensive tackle. He's got great size and length, and, and he's going to be a big guy. And he's a good athlete for someone who's as big as he is. Um, you know, and then Jordan's just a special, special player. You know, he's got great size, great speed. Um, you know, we need a, a physical presence at wide receiver, and he gives us some size. Uh, obviously, both of them will be here in January, and, and uh, you know, it's in positions of need. We're starting to really build some great depth on our offensive line. I'm uh, really excited about, you know, the future of our offensive line, just how many big bodies we have and guys that are going to be competitive. It's going to be um, great competition for those tackle spots next year and, and guard spots. And, you know, both of those guys and we'll get in the mix. I'm sure Jordan will have an opportunity to play since we lose so many receivers. And, um, is it easier for a wide receiver to come in? And have oh, definitely. Ball yeah, and definitely more more than a, more than an offensive lineman. But the two guys we got this year are both, you know, both playing at a really high level, and so uh, they can they can do it. It's different nowadays because um, because they, um, you know, they do so much stuff in the summer guys can grow up a little bit more over the summer than maybe they have in the past. It used to be guys showed up in August, now they get here, and, and especially when they're getting here in January, you've got a long time to prepare. So I think, again, those we're, we're going to have several more uh, mid-semester guys, and, and um, you know, and that certainly gives them an opportunity to play. You said uh, at the end of spring that you had, you preferred a, a, an early signing day for football. Well, they didn't have one, but now you're just kind of making your own. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do. We've we've got some some you know mid-year graduates, and um, you know it's a trend in college football these days, and you know the kids want to graduate and get in get in and try to compete. Um, you know, I think they need. I think it needs to be the right kid. You know, I think they've got to be mature kids, and the good thing with with all three of the kids we've signed, they're very very mature kids, and I think they're the kind of kids that. Um, you know, it makes a lot of sense. He sort of expects several more, right? Yeah, we, yeah, we do. Three to four more, probably. Several more. Yeah. Does it fit the academic profile of the kids you're going to increasingly have to yes. recruit now? Yes. Yeah, very much so. Yeah, we're, uh, you know, these guys all fit that academic profile. You know, they're all high GPA kids, um, really solid students, and you know, all those, all those mid-year graduates, they have to be. Jake looks like he's gotten a lot leaner, but he's bigger yeah. than he was when, when he first came Yeah, I think he's moved through some weight around, which is good. He'll have to, you know, continue to do that, and that's always something the young, young line would have to do. And, um, you know, he'll probably come in too heavy like they all do, and we'll have to take that weight off and put a different weight on him. But he's he's done a really good job of working, and he's leaned himself up and, and looks great. I totally uh, didn't realize that you were on Texas Tech staff back in 2004. Yeah, what do you remember from, from that game against Cal? From, uh, against Cal? Well, was, you know, I think they were disappointed to be there and we were excited to be there. And I think, you know, when you sit down and you look at bowl games, you know, and, and you, you know, you pick the winners in bowl games, that's probably the most important thing. Which team's the most excited to be there? Because it's a, it's a month of preparation. And so, you know, we had an opportunity to play a bowl game in California that was outside of the bowl games we'd played a lot in Texas. And, you know, I think they were disappointed to be, not be in the Rose Bowl and deservedly so. And, um, you know, 
we, we kind of had our way with them that day. The difference in that game is the wide receivers, right? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, they, they, were, they had a good team. I know that. What was your guys' reaction when you saw you were going to get matched up with them? Yeah, you know, it's honestly, we didn't know that much about Cal. We just knew they had a good football team and a really good record. Um, you know, um, it was, you know, like I said, looking looking back, I mean, they were they were really good. I didn't know how good. I mean, I didn't know that there was going to be, you know, arguably one of the great quarterbacks to ever play the game and, and you know, fantastic running backs and all the, the guys that they had on the team. But, um, but we knew they were a really good football team. What do you remember about Texas that year? Had a good team. They had a good team. Uh, I don't remember specifically our game against them. You know, we played them so many times, but um, I'm trying to think of 04. That would have been uh, Sunny Cumbie year. I don't remember much about the game. I think we played them in Lubbock. I don't remember too much about it. They obviously beat us because they had a good, year, a good team and a good year. So, same thing. They had a really talented football team. I mean, that was when Vince Young was starting, kind of started coming in. Zone. I actually went to the Rose Bowl. It's funny because. I stayed in California after our bowl game. I had never been to the Rose Bowl, so I, I went and bought tickets and went to the Texas Michigan game just because uh, I'd never been to the Rose just Bowl. As a, normal As a fan. fan, sat in the stands. It's the last game I sat in the stands at. <laughs> Who did you go Rose bowl. with? Any friends or family? I went with Kate when we were uh, my wife, and we were just dating, started dating at the time. And so she came out to the bowl game, and then we hung around for a couple of days and went to the Rose Bowl. And she married you anyway, huh? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is it kind of weird watching a team that you share a conference with as a fan, you know, from that vantage point? Yeah, yeah, it was, it was different. I mean, just sitting in the stands was a whole different experience. Um, like I said, I think it's the last time I sat in the stands at a football game, and a college game. And so, um, yeah, it was, and you know, like I said, I'd never been to the Rose Bowl and had heard all those years about it, the pageantry and all that stuff. And so it was a cool experience. What's your what's your team's kind of mindset? Are they loose? They yeah they yeah. Straddled. I mean, I think I think you know I think I think they're um, you know I think they're they're confident, but at the same time they're very respectful of Texas and and their talent and, and um, you know their ability to, to play at a very high level. And so you know we know we have uh, a tall task in front of us, but I think our guys have some confidence, and I think we're excited about playing. How do you prepare the guys for that big of a? Stadium and just yeah, you don't, people. you don't, you just gotta do your job. I mean, I told them after practice, I've never seen a, I've never seen a crowd make a play. You know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's what happens between the lines, and, and we just have to, we just gotta stay focused and do our job.